From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. Less humid air is coming to the Bay Area. Jason Adams has your full forecast coming up. But first, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Hurricane Michael now blamed for at least 11 deaths, including four people who drowned and a firefighter killed in Virginia. In the Florida Panhandle, the daunting task of cleaning up flattened buildings and downed trees is just now beginning. Rows and rows of homes are now piles of splintered lumber. President Trump issued a major disaster declaration for Florida yesterday that will make federal funds available to people in affected areas, allowing them to receive grants for temporary housing and home repairs and also help businesses recover. The latest estimates show the storm caused $8 billion in damage. Senator Bill Nelson and Governor Rick Scott are postponing their Senate debate to focus on storm recovery instead. CNN was broadcasting, was supposed to broadcast this nationally televised debate next Tuesday, next Tuesday from here in Tampa. But the campaigns are now working to come up with a new date. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. The storm also brought back a problem plaguing Bay Area beaches for a while now. Red tide. People from Clearwater to Madeira Beach are once again reporting mild to strong respiratory issues. The sight and smell of dead fish is also making trips to the beach unpleasant. The problem? Winds are now blowing the toxic algae bloom close to shore. It never went away. It's just the winds helped us out. The currents helped us out keeping it offshore. And, uh, and, with, and then now they've changed and here we are again. Pinellas County updates its beach conditions twice a day. We posted a link to this special section on our website at abcactionnews.com slash red tide. Want to check in now with Jason. He says it's going to be a great weekend to hit the beach. Yeah, it is really going to be nice, especially later this afternoon into the overnight hours as that lower humidity arrives. Our first cold front is moving through today. Not in a lot of cold air, if any at all behind it, but it's the humidity drop that'll make things feel much more pleasant. These upper 80s this afternoon will feel like the upper 80s as opposed to them feeling like the upper 90s and low 100s when you factor in that high humidity. That's not going to be here anymore, at least through the weekend. Look at tomorrow morning, even some upper 50 showing up for Crystal River and Brooksville. That's going to feel fantastic out there. The rest of us into the low to mid 60s, low 70s here at St. Pete, but that's even better than those low 80s that we've been stuck with for pretty much the entire summer and beginning of fall. This comfort, though, it's going to stick around through Sunday. Sunday's highs into the upper 80s as well. It will feel like the upper 80s, but that humidity starts to return next week, Dia. All right, love it. All right, parents, if your kids love Sesame Street, you are in for a treat this weekend. Elmo, Abby Cadabby, and Big Bird, they're all coming to life in Sesame Street Live Make Your Magic. There are four performances of this brand new stage show tonight through Sunday at the Yingling Center in Tampa. Tickets start at just $15. A little bit of And also tonight in Tampa, Kid Rock is bringing his red-blooded rock and roll redneck extravaganza tour to the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater. Some tickets are still available if you want to go. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Drivers pass bicyclists safely. Allow a minimum of three feet between you and the bicyclists because safety doesn't happen by accident.